Hi friends, I'm in the van and I'm going to Hokotepec today and I'm going to take you along for the ride. I've always resisted making videos about around town, but I've gotten so many requests recently to do that that I have figured out something I've been missing. Um, I always say, well, go and watch other people's videos because they um, do a great job of showing you around town. But I look at those videos and I see that they show you the nice parts of town and they show you the touristy parts of town. And uh, sometimes they take you to a restaurant or a small shop, but they don't just drive you around neighborhoods. So I'm working on a system to do that. Let me show you what I'm doing with my... I have my video camera mounted to a GoPro mount. I've tried using the GoPro, but there's no stabilization in my old GoPro 3, and it's just shaky. It's too shaky. It doesn't give you a usable video mounted on the dash. So, we're going to do a little test today and see how this video camera does, because it's got really good stabilization in it. Anyway, let's go to Hoko. Oh, I can turn the camera around too. This is the back wall of my carport and the old bricks are the red ones and the new blocks to make the wall taller are the lighter colored ones. Backing out. my gate. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. On my way to Hokotepec today, that's 12 kilometers from Ahihik to Hokotepec, and this could be about topis. Gracias, no. Topis are speed bumps, and these Those are called vibradores because they vibrate you. Sometimes vibradores are warnings that a speed bump is coming and sometimes they just seem placed there to annoy you. Those people back there that I said gracias no to were selling 10 cent suckers for 10 pesos. and. It's better than just standing there with your tin cup asking for a donation, uh, even marking up uh, an exorbitant profit on something you sell, to me, is better than uh, sticking out your hand for a handout. Because that happens a lot at these topies, I keep a little tray here on my engine cover with uh, spare change in it. I call that spare change topi toll. This green sign above our head says, Welcome to Hokotepec. Hokotepec and Chapala are not only towns, they are the equivalent of counties. And so we've passed from the jurisdiction of Chapala into the jurisdiction of Hokotepec which is about halfway between Ahihik and San Juan Cosala. So why did I say this trip could be called the Topi Tour? Did I say that or just think it? I one time counted the number of speed bumps between Okotepec and Ahihik, and the number was 23. Now, I'm not talking about those Vibradores things. I'm talking about huge, big speed bumps that you have to stop and go over. We've gone over a couple of them already, and I have noticed um, that it's not showing up in the video because my stabilizer um, just doesn't show that I'm going over a big bump. But 23 of them. We'll get to some here in a second. 
We're approaching a place along the lake here, just east of San Juan Cosala, called the Piedras Berendas. And what it is, it's a bunch of restaurants. Um, and there must be like 15 of them right along here together. And on the weekends, the cars are parked five deep on the left side of the road here and big parking lots on the right side. The place is just jam-packed. It's a very Mexican family thing to come and stake out a table in one of these restaurants and just stay there for half of the day and keep ordering food and just family time. It's um, it's a great weekend thing that Mexicans do. These restaurants along here are part of the reason that the traffic on the weekends in Ajijic is so bad. Because going through Ajijic is one of the ways, one of two ways, to get from Guadalajara to here. And when I say the cars are parked five deep here, it's Guadalajara's. By the way, I had a person from Guadalajara tell me the other day that they are not Guadalajarans. They are Tapatios. And a Tapatio is a nickname for people from Guadalajara. If you are from Ajijic, your nickname will be Charro. A Charro is a cowboy, so if you live in Ajijic, you're going to be a cowboy. Ajijic is one of the two ways from Guadalajara to get here. So going through Ajijic on a Sunday evening when these restaurants are clearing out can be horrendous. It can take an hour to get from West Ajijic to the Libramento, which is about two miles, um, where they cut off and go towards Guadalajara. The traffic in Ajijic on the weekend is not expats. It's Tapatios. We're on our way into Hokotepec and um, not counting that speed bump we're going over right there, you will notice that Hokotepec has a lot more paved streets than certainly Ahihik, which has none, except for the Karatara, the main highway through town. And um, Chapala has a couple, but Hokotepec has quite a few paved streets. More civilized, I guess. This is the way that you would go through town if you're going from east to west and on out of town. I'm not going out of town. I have some business to take care of down here past the next stoplight. And of course you see a lot fewer expats in Hokotepec. My Mexican friends come over here to Hokotepec for the weekly Tiangas, which is on Thursdays, because the prices are more affordable here in Hokotepec than in Ahihik. This is the main street in Hokotepec. A lot of motorcycles in Hokotepec and um, also the uh, four-wheel ATVs. This is the main plaza on the left here, and on the right are restaurants that serve bieria, uh, goat soup. There's a story about the church here in Hokotepec. Hokotepec was the fifth stagecoach stop between Morelia and Guadalajara when Morelia was the capital of Mexico. Long time ago. Stagecoach stop. The fifth, La Quinta, 
There's a man who grew up here in Hokotepec who started a hotel motel chain in the United States, La Quinta Inns, the fifth stagecoach stop. Stopped for a bottle of cold water here at the OXO, backing away, you might like to see that there's an ambulance in Hokotepec. Oh, speed, oh, speed bump. When it's mounted there on the dash, it smooths them out, but I'm just holding it with my hand now. We're going down here to the Malacone. Malacone, oh. Look at the exercise equipment. A lot of parks have exercise equipment. Malacone is a walkway built along the water. Uh, more exercise equipment. Speed bump. Motorcycle. We'll park here and take a walk out on the Malacone. Oh, I'm getting sprayed. The make sure I got my keys. I locked myself out of my car so many times. Okay, I do. Um, I'm getting sprayed. That's not a sprinkler. That's a broken pipe. Usually there's uh, water. This is a fountain. There'd be water shooting up out of the fish's mouth here. Maybe it's that broken pipe. It's not working. So this is the very west end of Lake Chapala. On the weekend there'd be a lot of people out here. Yeah, I'm curious. I wonder what that is. Just a metal sculpture, I guess. Oh, it's probably an antenna. I don't know what for. There's a walkway all the way along over there. Goes out to that little... Palapa. Looks like solar panels on the roof. Oh, cool. Bird. Oh, did you come see me? Yeah, I think you're going over there to see your buddy. Yeah? Maybe it's your girlfriend. Or maybe it's some guy that's getting in on your fishing territory. Looks like that's kind of a standoff. See how I resisted saying Mexican standoff? Oh, there's a story I could tell about the Mexican standoff. I'll tell you this story briefly while we're walking back to the car. So we have the top off of the Suzuki. That's when we still had the Suzuki down here in Mexico. And we're over across on the south side of the lake in Tietzapan del Alto. And there's a day in Mexico when whole population of small towns has a big water fight. And I forget what the occasion is. Maybe somebody can tell me. Anyway, there's this water fight going on. There's got people with hoses and people with buckets of water and little buckets of water and five-gallon buckets of water and people up on balconies. And there's this one intersection we come into. We've got the top off of the Suzuki. I've got two people in the back seat. And we kind of stop in the middle of the intersection and the water fight stops. 
Well, it's just kind of like a Mexican standoff. And then somebody must have said, get the gringos. 500 gallons of water hit my Suzuki. We were all soaking wet and everybody had a great laugh. Ooh, dog content. Wow, look at all the beans hanging on this tree. They're not edible. There's another thing that goes on this time of year though. There's a tree called a guamucho and they go around with long poles uh, picking these pods off of the guamucho trees. And they're very edible, they're very good. The meat inside is kind of sweet. It's um, a little bit like jicama, only sugary. Okay, now you're going to see something that happens in Mexico. You see that car coming towards me? It's a white car. I'm pulled over to this side of the road because the white pickup wanted to pass me, right as the other car going the other direction passed me. And this is a two-lane road. This happens in Mexico, and the opposing traffic just kind of pulls over to make room. Nobody gets excited about it. You just kind of do what works. We're back in San Juan Cosala, and I'm going to take a side trip off of the highway down here because I want to show you something. Hey, see those... Uh, ribbons and flags up above the street. Different colors for different things. Sometimes it's uh, blue or pink for a boy or a girl that was born, or it might be black for somebody in the family died, or it might be a um, different color for a quinceanera, a celebration of a girl turning 15. Different colors for different things. This is a uh, Typical here, people sitting out on the sidewalk and lots of motorcycles, a parasol, and people with a little table out, sometimes selling things, sometimes just having a family dinner because it's cooler outside of the house. Crap, it's a garbage truck. Uh, this is not going to work. Well, I'll show you that some other time. There's a restaurant down there that has my picture painted on it. Oh crap, this is one what? This is a dead end? Is he going to get out of there? Nope. Well, welcome to Mexico. Bienvenidos de Mexico. Off the back out of here. Oh fuck, the garbage truck hasn't gone very far. Now I got a pedestrian or two. Okay, so listen, my driving skills are really good. My camera skills aren't terrible. But I'm doing one with one hand and one with the other hand. So don't be judging my camera skills. Well, this could be a one-way street, too. Well... Family up here having a meal out on the sidewalk.
Okay, we'll go see that restaurant some other time. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.